what we see here are actually from the, uh, the Han dynasty, um, about the time of Christ, uh, 2000, 200 BC, 200 AD. Um, and um, we're looking at uh, one of our greatest uh, treasures immediately here, which is a uh, 2.1 meter long um, Chinese uh, river come coastal boat. Let me, let me ask Anthony, when you look at, at this wonderful artifact here, it says a Chinese funerary boat with figures. We can see the figures, but how do we think we know it's meant to be a funerary boat? Well, for the very reason that it was buried with the deceased. And if you look inside here, mm -hmm. there is a, there's a dancer there and a singer and, uh, and so this is really entertainment, taking the deceased into the next world with his entrapments, everything that he loved in life. Here we're now looking at uh, a very unique set of four paintings um, in a very unusual style, um, depicting the four main ports on the uh, on the uh, Pearl River. I'd like to just start here with, with uh, the painting of Macau, uh, where the foreigners, of course, were. The Portuguese were here. Mm -hmm. um, it's full of the churches and the, the fortifications. Um, I love the detail here. You've got the Mother Superior walking through the oh, central yes. square here yes, with a yes, nun yes. Accolade behind her. Um, yeah. You've got the piggy going to the market here with its pig, oh. <laughs> and um, and here you've got the Portuguese ships here in the in the river. China just starts here, you know. Probably one of the top treasures in our museum. Um, when we bought it, we didn't realize <laughs> how important it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, we knew it was Canton, um, but uh, it's Kangxi. Uh, before the foreigners were there. So here, here you see the, uh, <coughs> the, the flowery pagoda, yes. the, um, the Muslim bell tower, yes. and the, which is the, 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 the museum in Macau today, the five-story pagoda here, which is a rectangular. It's on the, on the walls of the city. You can see the walls coming mm. all the way around here. Mm. I love the blossoms coming through yes. the trees in, yes. in, in, the, in the town here. It's just fantastic. In the bat wings of the uh, of the junks, aren't they fantastic? We we saw this at auction. We bought it because it had the Chinese vessels here, and we thought we'll do our research later. We only had two days to make up our mind, so mm -hmm. we made a bid. We managed to get it, um, and um, and for for months after that, we tried to find out why there were with a Swedish East Indiaman here and a Swedish flag on the land. And we asked museums in Sweden and they didn't know. And uh, until one day somebody told us about this mug. Um, and it has exactly the same, there's exactly the same scene on it. But fortuitously, it's written on the bottom that this is the um, uh, the ship, the um, Gustav, Gustav, Adolf. Gustav Adolfus, which was the name of the king of Sweden at the time, uh, and the name of the captain of the ship, the name of the ship, and um, uh, the date on it. Uh, uh, they lost the whole season, the whole yes. trading season. Yes, yes. And uh, wait until the winds came around the next year, and then they got in. So, um, uh, so my assumption is that this painting was probably ordered in Canton by the captain in order to take something back to his ship owners in Gothenburg to say, this is us, this is what happened to us. We were marooned mm -hmm. there, we, were, we, we, we couldn't move, couldn't sail any further. So here you see the, <coughs> the three judges here. Actually, there were, there were five, but I think these were more sort of these were the legal judges, and this was probably the Hopo. No, this is the Hopo. This is the governor, oh, governor of Guangdong yes, there. Yes. And then these were two other senior people. And then you've got the Hong merchant sitting here. Um, mm -hmm. And here are the portly, portly heads of the uh, East India companies. Yes. Uh, rather caricaturish. Yeah. And, and, and what happened? What, what is the trial about, would you say? Well, the tr trial was all about the 
the day when the crew, the one day of the month when the crew members were allowed to come up from, uh, from uh, um, uh, Wampoa to the city, um, there was a fight in um, Hogs Lane where the bars were. Yes. And one of these five, these were all from the Neptune, these crew members, and one of them slogged a local lad and uh, unwittingly he, he hit him in such a way that he, when he fell he hit his head on a piece of furniture mm. and um, broke his neck or, or died from that. You see? So um, when that happened the, um, the Hong merchant, not the, the, the Hopo called a cease to all trade. You know, this, this famous battle of the, the islands of Lantau, when the, when the Imperial Navy um, was sent down by the Emperor to bring this, these pirates under, uh, under control. The pirates here were rather like Robin Hood. Do you know mm -hmm. who uh, Robin Hood was? Oh, yes. Um, oh, yes. You know, he'd rob for, they'd rob from the poor, rich and give to the poor. So yes. they, they were actually quite decent people. And, Yeah, this is uh, one, I put this down as one because this is such a rare set oh. of the manufacture of porcelain. And then, what I told you down below, they took it by overland, okay, yes. overland, yes. and tell, and tell, uh, I don't know where you get to, but then you get to the, you get to the lake up here where, you know, it's very rough. I love this one. Yes. This is the... <laughs> That's amazing. You, you, yeah, you can imagine yeah. all the porcelain getting smashed in those oh, waves. Oh. And, and then here they come into the shop ultimately. And here the Westerners coming to buy yes. shopping. <laughs> this is the, uh, these are the Hongs uh, <coughs> along the river there in, uh, in Canton. Uh, many, many paintings have been <laughs> made of the same, same view. Uh, many of them just truncated to cover one or two of the Hongs. Um, but uh, this is perhaps one of the, the largest that we've seen and the most detailed. Here's Hogs Lane. Hogs Lane is very famous. You see, the actual, most of this is just the facades of all these buildings. The buildings themselves go back many, you know, a long way. Mm -hmm. This is all part of the same building. You, you can see the perspectives actually yes. now. Look at perspectives, because yes. yes. China didn't learn how to do Western perspectives until uh, you know about this time. And he happened to be visiting <coughs> his son out here in Hong Kong when the sky like this was during the Vietnamese crisis, when all the yes. Vietnamese were um, you know coming up on any any little boats that they can find, any, you know, most of them sank on the way. Uh, but this was an old ship which made it to Hong Kong, but it was kept out in international waters. The British didn't allow it in, because once they got in, then they had to look after them. And, uh, and of course, a lot did come in on small boats and they had to keep them up. But this was on a floating ship, so they, for a long time, months, it was uh, off the uh, Lama Island. And then, during a stormy evening, the, the refugees on board, they cut the anchor chain. And so it, was, it drifted then onto Lama, and then they came ashore and the government had to take them on board. 